Today's modern systems are extremely complex. Aeroplanes are no exception. To address this complexity, an enormous number of specialists need to be involved. For example, we have Christine, our system architect. She is responsible for the high-level architecture of the system. Christine's job is to produce a baseline architecture which will serve as a reference to the other teams. She will be looking to verify that this model satisfies project requirements and also how the model performs against different criteria. But she can't do it alone. She needs other experts to help her out. For example, she needs Pascal. His job is to calculate and verify that the various control signals around the aircraft reach their destinations within the given time limits. So that his timing models are accurate, they need to reflect the current architecture. And here's Anna. Anna's job is to calculate the thermal effects of the aircraft. Once again, her calculations are only valid so long as they accurately represent the most up-to-date architecture. Finally, we have Hans. His safety data is based on information from multiple sources, not just the architecture. Any safety conclusion he might come to could be inaccurate as soon as any of the data in the repositories change. Whilst all of these are quite different, there is a common theme. Everyone needs access to the most relevant and up-to-date information. But how can we achieve this? We are using different models spread across several tools. Also, the information exists in many databases. How can we ensure that the information remains consistent? The three things which affect this sort of collaboration are how you store the data, how you access it, and how you ensure that your data is the latest version. All parties that want to share data must agree on a data format and how that data should be accessed. First of all, the domain experts need to sit together and agree on a minimal set of data which is needed for a consistent baseline. For example, product breakdown structure, thermal conductivity, system latency and failure rates for system analysis. Our domain experts also need to agree on how this data relates to each other. Not all information needs to be described, only what is necessary for collaboration so that our resulting data model remains simple. Now that we have a common vocabulary for describing information, we can publish the data to a knowledge catalogue. Note that this catalogue isn't a single repository, only a common way to describe data. The original information is still held by the tool which created it. But even standardised data is no good if there is no standard way to access it, so we need to define a common way to make this information available. Because the interfaces are based on open standards, they are tool independent. So long as an information provider produces data in a standard format, then anyone who consumes that data shouldn't notice any difference if the information providers change their tool. Indeed, posting information in a way that others can consume is nothing new. So what's the difference? The difference here is that we are using an agreed set of standards. Every tool that uses a predefined vocabulary and read or write access can expect to communicate with other tools that also use the same vocabulary and methods. This removes the need to develop point-to-point -point connections every time a tool is changed or updated. There are many standards out there which can describe domain information. The adoption of a standard developed by a single organization leaves you vulnerable. OSLC is an initiative which produces standards to describe data and services. It has been defined in an open manner by experts in their relevant domains. It is very promising, with many companies and tool vendors backing it. The core idea is built around internet technologies for tool data connectivity. Using common standards to describe and access data reduces consistency errors, increases data access, whilst removing the need for many point-to-point -point connections. There are projects at Airbus working on this topic, but we need your support for maturing, improving and making it operable. So, don't hesitate to contact us.